And here's an example of the, the, the cancel culture attitude and also people who have betrayed whatever ideals they say they once stood for professionally. Um, Rick, Rick Wilson, I don't even understand what he thinks he's accomplishing with this, but he uh, tweeted out last night to Domino's Pizza, which I will say I definitely was a customer when I was in college. Uh, before I knew I couldn't have gluten, I used to eat Domino's Pizza fairly regularly. I, I can't say that I'm particularly a fan of the quality of the pizza now, but can't eat it now, really, so there's that. Uh, but Domino's Pizza responded to a kind word by Kaylee McEnany, the White House press secretary, with, that's one heck of a compliment, thanks for the love. This was back in 2012. I don't even know, what I think she just said that she liked the pizza or something. Rick Wilson... Republican consultant. That's always always Republican consultant is part of the Lincoln Project, which is effectively m- might as well be, you know, the the direct action arm of the Democrat Party right now. They, they're so Republican, they're so conservative that Planned Parenthood loves them, right? I mean, that's what we're that's what we're dealing with now with these never Trumpers. Never Trumpers are now Democrats because there was there was no space left for them. They thought that maybe the conservative movement would come back to their side. And then when they realized, oh, no, this is not a good business proposition, they found the Lincoln Project. And, you know, they'll get you on MSNBC. You get to be a little, a little conservative who's, or a Republican who's patted on the head at CNN and MSNBC. I have told people, I have convinced conservatives, multiple conservatives that you know, to leave CNN. I cannot tell you who they are, but you would know who they are. I've convinced them. I've said, get out of there. And they have all thanked me for it. I practice what I preach. But Rick Wilson responded last night, you just killed your brand. And that's just insane. Kaylee said she likes Domino's. Domino's says, thank you for the compliment. Rick Wilson thinks that that's brand killing. Like Kaylee McEnany, who's a lovely person, who's doing a phenomenal job as White House press secretary. She can't like pizza. That's not allowed. Domino's pizza, to its credit, came back on Twitter and said, well, it's unfortunate that thanking a customer for a compliment back in 2012 would be viewed as political. Guess that's 2020 for you. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's also psychotic. My friends, just because you're not involved in political media or somebody who's necessarily a public figure, although I know a lot of you listen to this work on Capitol Hill and work in state GOP offices, etc. But they'll come for anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. This is a fight for our culture. This is a fight for the soul of this country. Understand that and understand it now. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.